Hello, good day everyone. I'm Dr. Dharmaraj Ranganathan, the consultant colorectal surgeon in Subang Jaya Medical Center. Colorectal cancer is cancer of the gastrointestinal tract or our alimentary tract, more specifically the colon or the rectum. It is important because it is amongst the most common cancers along with breast cancer, lung cancer and prostate cancer involving adults in Malaysia and one of the leading cause of cancer-related deaths. The risk factors for colorectal cancer can be lifestyle risks such as obesity, lack of physical activity, unhealthy diet, a diet high in fat content or red meat. Other than that, certain colorectal diseases can also increase your risk for colorectal cancer, such as inflammatory bowel diseases, such as ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease. If you have a history of colonic polyps, there's also an increased risk for colorectal cancer. Now, the most important risk factor for colorectal cancer is a family history of colorectal cancer. If you have a first degree relative with colorectal cancer, for example, a parent, a sibling, or an offspring with colorectal cancer, your risk for colorectal cancer doubles from 6% in the normal population to about 12%. What are the symptoms of colorectal cancer? Uh, the most common symptoms that patients present to me with are perectal bleeding. Patients present with bleeding either fresh blood, passage of blood clots, they can have uh, maroon coloured blood mixed with stools, or sometimes they can present with melina or black coloured stools. The second most common symptom is alteration in bowel movements. So some patients may present with recent onset of constipation or diarrhea, which is persistent. The third presentation would be a change in the character of your stools. That means you notice that the stools are of different consistency, or you notice that the stools are getting smaller in calibre. That would suggest a narrowing in the passage, or sometimes there may be mucus in your stools. Patients can also present with late symptoms such as uh, significant loss of appetite and loss of weight and sometimes some patients unfortunately present with intestinal obstruction where there's a total block in the intestine and they come with nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, distension and inability to pass motion. So if you have any of those symptoms or any doubts about colorectal cancer or the risks involved, please consult your doctors early. Thank you.